A plan to fix South Carolina roads just got the green light at the State House. A House subcommittee unanimously passed a bill that does raise the gas tax. But Governor Henry McMaster has another idea on where that money should come from. 7 News reporter Robert Kittle has the very latest from Columbia. Governor Henry McMaster has sent a letter to President Donald Trump asking him for $5 billion in federal money for South Carolina roads. The request comes as state lawmakers are moving ahead on their road plans. A House subcommittee unanimously passed a bill that would bring in about $600 million a year for roads. It would raise the gas tax by 10 cents a gallon, phasing it in by going up 2 cents a gallon for five years. Representative Gary Simrel is the main sponsor of the bill and says South Carolina needs to catch up to our neighboring states. Georgia was ahead of us in infrastructure, North Carolina was ahead of us, and then both passed meaningful uh, bills in that year. It took a lot of the jobs out of South Carolina. The House plan would also increase the vehicle registration fee you pay every two years by $16 and raise the sales tax cap on vehicles from $300 now up to $500. Simrel says he's also glad the governor is asking for the federal money because South Carolina pays more in federal gas tax money than it gets back. This is a complete reversal for the state. Governor Nikki Haley refused to take federal money to expand Medicaid, even though that meant the money would go to other states. Now Governor McMaster is asking for federal money. We cannot, though, uh, sit back and not pass a comprehensive bill waiting on the federal government to act. Uh, people who are waiting on the federal government usually just get old and tired. The bill now goes to the full House Budget Writing Committee. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. Uh, publicly, Governor McMaster hasn't said where he stands on the House and Senate plans, including the gas tax increases. He says he wants to work with lawmakers and come up with what's best for the state. 